In Cincinnati, there was an unfurling of the colors of the old red, white, and blue. And early on in the game, the Bengals unfurled the colors of the old black and blue on the St. Louis Cardinals. Number 19, Essex Johnson, began the day's scoring with a five-yarder for six. St. Louis retaliated with number 44, Donnie Anderson, who rushed for 102 yards and two touchdowns. The first on this pop into the end zone. Ken Anderson went for the quick strike and just missed on this fingertip slider to number 85, Isaac Curtis. With a modicum of razzle and a pinch of dazzle, the Cardinals, too, went for the big one. But good defense by number 34, Neil Craig, snuffed it out. Ken Anderson's theory of try, try again paid off nicely on this arrow to Curtis, and the Bengals led 14-10. Jim Hart's theory of try, try again ran afoul of number 66, Bill Berge, and eventually paid off handsomely for Cincinnati as number 36, Linville Elliott, made it 21-10. Even when pressured, Anderson remained cool and found an outlet in number 35, Booby Clark, a contender for Rookie of the Year honors. The Bengals' rookies continued to shine, and first-year man Linville Elliott took home another six to make the Bulls 28-10. The Cardinals now found themselves in a do-or-die situation, and quarterback Jim Hart went out and did, escaping pressure and hitting number 85, Mel Gray, who made an excellent reception. Hart continued to travel the air route and came up with an amazing bit of luck to number 21, Terry Metcalf. Hart then went to his tight end, Jackie Smith, who was very wide open, deep in the Bengals' secondary. From there, Donnie Anderson gouged out his 13th touchdown of the year to lead the NFL, and St. Louis trailed by nine at 35-24. But fighting for a playoff spot, Cincinnati wasn't about to let this one get away, and Anderson to Bob Trumpy salted it. Bengals 42, Cardinals 24. <laughs> 